wasn't entirely sure what to do with this initially. I was looking for what text would be appropriate to use, and I realized that I had something that was full of words that had been stripped of their meaning. And I want to tell my wife here because between classes, sometimes she will play a Scrabble move by email back to me, and while I'm supposed to be working, I'll play a Scrabble move back to her. So we have all these words we've used in our Scrabble games, but these words have no meaning. They're effectively nonsense. All they are are points to us. For example, vintages, vintages was worth, I think, about 194 points to me once. And she still is mad at me about that. But we have these words with no meaning, and I thought, well, how can I put these in something that would give them meaning? And there's a poem, a very famous poem, that is filled with words that are nonsense, that have no meaning, but the structure of the poem and the context gives their meaning. And that poem, of course, is Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. So I took the words we had played in Scrabble and replaced the nonsense words in Jabberwocky with real words that are perhaps out of their usual context. So I'd like to read to you Scrabblewocky. Twas pitted, and the ritzy jocks did bet and bewail in the vault. All mangy were the tiaras, and the quid hands out beards. Beware the puckery, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the harem bird, and shun the thornier panty ninja. <laughs> he took his freebie sword in hand, long time the juicy foe he sought. So rested he by the scuba tree, and stood a while in thought. As in acidic thought he stood, the puckery with eyes of flame, came zapping through the loofa wood, and mentored as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the warty blade went bittier. He left it dead, and with its head, he went erotic back. And hast thou slain the puckery? Come to my arms, my cootie boy. O oh, zebra's day, quake, quat, ki, quay, he earwormed in his joy. Twas pitted, and the ritzy jocks, did bet and bewail in the vault. All mangy were the tiars, and the quid hands out beards. <laughs>